What's going on, everyone? Hey, everyone. Peace, peace, peace. Happy Divine Thursday. Yo, I hope y'all are feeling fantastic today in the world. It's your favorite girl, Isis. Love you guys. Tuning in from Cali, baby. It's a movie. So check this out, y'all. We got to talk like ASAP. I'm not even going to make this video real long. Um, I really just wanted to hop on here real quick and uh, talk about the, the new pretty girl in the club, a.k.a. Bitcoin. So real quick, let me, um, if you just coming in, go ahead and drop your uh, state <clears throat> and drop your city, baby, because it's going down. So check this out. Yeah, I'm going to drop, I'm going to jump, jump right into it. So, you know, the reason why. I made this, uh, the reason why I made this, this title, you know, the Bitcoin bubble scam, right, is because, y'all, I don't know if you know it or not, but Bitcoin literally has been popping, um, since about the early 2000s, right, so Bitcoin is not something that's new, it's, it's not a, it's not a new thing, right? It's, it's something that's always, always been out. So, I don't know if you guys have been paying attention or not, but <clears throat> you guys, you got to get with this Bitcoin. The reason why I put Bitcoin bubble uh, scam on a thing is because I know people would click on it because everybody thinks it's a scam, right? But one thing you got to realize, you guys, is right now, right now as we speak, certain uh, businesses and companies are doing business in cryptocurrency, I don't know if you guys have Wells Fargo or not, but if you go to the Wells Fargo's app, within the Wells Fargo's app, there is a uh, option for you to change your wallet into a cryptocurrency wallet, you guys. Into a cryptocurrency wallet. Crypto just went up to 13, about 13,000 um, yesterday. You know why? Because now PayPal, you know Cash App has Bitcoin. Now PayPal is teaming up with crypto. Now you're going to be able to send and receive Bitcoin from PayPal. You guys, this is next level. And why is this next level? What, what, what does this mean for us as a people? How can we capitalize on <clears throat> digital assets before they even get huge? This is what I want you guys to think about. Like I said, I'm not going to make this long, but I, just, I really wanted to make sure y'all thought tonight, right? Remember when shit remember when it was cds no tapes forget that remember tapes yeah y'all remember tapes we used to record the songs off the radio right we used to put the tape in there and record the song on the radio on the tape then we went from cds and then from cds we went to like these little ipod things remember the first kind of like ipod thing that we first had where people can listen to music so evolution happens things change technology change so imagine if you would have when amazon first came out you would have got the stock for like a dollar or something right now amazon is up up at two thousand so if you would have put let's just say six thousand into amazon no my bad let's just say you was to put a dollar into amazon Right, and you brought six shares, and it's at two thousand dollars right now. And that's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. That's twelve thousand dollars from a dollar investment, you guys. And so it's the same thing with this cryptocurrency right now. Like with these cryptos that's popping right now, um, yo, you don't want to sleep on them because right now there's I don't know if you guys know it or not, but do you know that there's something smaller than a penny? Did anybody know that? If you knew that there was something smaller than a penny, just put it in the group real quick. My bad, it's loud, y'all. The trash man out. But if you knew, if you knew that we had fractions of pennies, right? So everybody's talking about penny stocks and different things like that. But look, you gotta hop up on this crypto because it's fractions of a penny. So imagine that. Imagine, 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 like one penny, right? One penny is like, what, 100 pennies, right? But with $1, with one penny in the crypto market, you can get so many coins, you guys. You can get thousands of coins for $1 in cryptocurrency, depending on which type of cryptocurrency there is. And there's so many different cryptocurrencies. Will all the cryptocurrencies hit? No, not all the cryptocurrencies will hit. But here's the thing. Can y'all hear me? Can everybody hear me? 
I hope everybody can hear me because my volume was down low. Because somebody just put in the chat bar, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? But check this out. But you got to know the certain types of cryptos that's, that's busting. And so within my investment community, you guys, you know, um, we're all teaching people. Okay, could you hear me from the beginning or did you just, did you just get here? But in my um, investment group, you guys, you know, we educate the people on what type of investments to make when it comes to Bitcoin, you guys. Because one thing you got to do is you got to humble yourself. If you don't know how money works or how cryptocurrency works or how Forex trading works, just like there's people out there that are legitimately want to help you learn this, you guys. We got to get on this because money is failing us right now. Like the type of fiat money that we have y'all ever been to a spot and they talking about some, yeah, you know, we coin shortage or, you know, they talking about some, um, we only take in cashless payments. You guys, money is phasing out as we speak. And if we don't get up on this cryptocurrency, we're going to be left behind, right? So imagine you taking advantage of the cryptocurrencies when they're at 25 cents. Right. Imagine it's 25 cent. Right. And imagine if the if the cryptocurrency went up to just a dollar alone. You guys, your money is growing with cryptocurrency. When you sit your money in the bank, we've been taught to save money. Right. We've been taught to save, 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 save your money, save your money, save your money. But what happens when you save your money? When you save it, you're going to eventually grab from it and grab from it and grab from it until it's gone. Right. So saving money is dead. It's dead, y'all. We're in a new age. We're in a digital age. Everything is digital. Think about this, you guys. You can literally have somebody shop for you at the store with a push of a button on the app, and they'll come bring their your groceries to you, right? You literally have credit cards now where you can just tap the credit card on the machine and pay for stuff. You guys, it is changing you have to get on this digital assets, you guys. You have to get on these digital assets. Banks right now. Like, I have a, I don't have my card with me, but I actually have an ATM card, right? I have an ATM Visa card. A Visa. Now, if Bitcoin was a scam, why would Visa be partnering up with somebody like that? You get what I'm saying? So, sometimes we got to think. We only say stuff is scams because we don't understand. We're ignorant. And there's nothing wrong with it. Ignorant just means that you just don't know. You just you're you, and sometimes ignorant is ignorance. You would rather ignore that you can go out there and research this stuff. You would just rather just stay in the dark. Some people like to do that, but for the people who genuinely want to learn, you guys, we got to get on this stuff. So with my my, my Visa card, my crypto is on my Visa card, so <clears throat> I can use a Visa card like any card. Like if I wanted to buy a plane ticket online, I would just use my Visa crypto card. If I wanted to go to the store and I want to go buy something, I'll just use my Visa crypto card. You guys, crypto is just another form of exchange. You got to realize that everything right now is totally digital. Most of the times, who uses cash? If you use card more than cash, I want you to put card in the in the chat bar. But if you use uh, cash more than car. I want you to put cash in the chat bar. Let's honestly see how much people use. Cause me, honestly, I use car more than anything. And you got to think about it. It's digital because although I'm using my car, right? Although I'm using my car, I'm not really seeing this money physically. I'm just seeing it on, on the screen. And that's the same thing with cryptocurrency. See Bitcoin. She said, okay. She said car. She used car. Who used car to cash? Okay. You use car. All right, anybody use cash? Because, see, like, here's the thing, you guys. Like, man, man, I really, man, I want y'all to get up on this. Y'all know I'm always out giving uh, at least this financial value, man, because, like, we can have this. But, look, so check this out. Start small, y'all. If you want to learn about crypto, let me know. I can send you the link to start buying some. But start small. Just put $2 to the side. You don't even have to have no grandiose money. Like, you don't even have to have nothing grandiose. Put $2 into crypto. Put $3. Put If you got change laying around the house, cash that change out and put it into cryptocurrency. Why? Because as your change is sitting in a... Um, in a, in a piggy bank, it's not growing. But if you take your change and you put it into cryptocurrency, it's going to fluctuate. It's going to grow. You got to make change make sense. You got to make change make sense. The change has to make sense. We got to make change so that everything can start to make sense. Y'all, last night, shout out to the crypto nerds, man. Like, we literally have, y'all got to realize this, right? 
not a lot of people know about cryptocurrency. They don't know how it works. They don't know how to operate. Like, do you guys know that they got a Rolls Royce? They got a crypto Rolls Royce? A crypto Rolls Royce. Go look it up. It's called Crypto um, Rolls Royce RAF. The RAF Crypto Rolls Royce. That's going to be powered by crypto. Don't you know that Akon is working on a whole city in Africa that's powered off of cryptocurrency? This is a real freaking thing, you guys. And it's happening right under our nose. And you know what they do? They distract y'all. And you know why I say y'all? Because they're not distracting me. I know what's going on. They distract us with the Black Lives Matter. They distract us with the coronavirus. They distract us with the news. They distract us with telling us about unemployment rates. They distract us with these stimulus checks. You guys, you just constantly stand distracted. Now it's not it's not it's not here to say that it ain't shit happening in the world. Because it is stuff happening in the world. Stuff happening in the world every day. But at the end of the day, you guys, you gotta realize that a lot of stuff is put into your world to distract you. People, places, situations, this is a distraction. You got to realize that if you're watching the news on TV all day long and you don't know how to like, see when I watch the news, I'm watching the news from an investor standpoint. So when I'm watching the news, I'm listening to certain words that they saying so that I can capitalize off of it. But when you don't have the, the knowledge on investing, how cryptocurrency works, how the stock market works, how forex works, you're just watching at the news and you're looking at it as terror. You're seeing the coronavirus as terror. Like, oh my gosh, I'm looking at it like, damn, okay, the market's going to be down, right? So you guys, this... Everything is put into play. You got to realize it. What's the easiest way to roll out cryptocurrency? The easiest way to roll out cryptocurrency is to scare the people into believing that the money is poison because of some virus. Man, y'all got to come on now. This is going to go over some of y'all heads. And no disrespect, I'm out here to debate. This is my Facebook page, and I'm going to speak how I feel on my Facebook page. But I'm here to tell you guys that. What is the best way? You just can't bring crypto like that out on people because the thing of the matter is the average person don't even know certain stuff. So you, so the government just can't bring crypto out there like that, but they got to slowly bring it to y'all. That's why the Simpsons talk about cryptocurrency. There's commercials about cryptocurrency. There's Bitcoin ATMs now about cryptocurrency, right? But so what better way, what better way to, to have people stop touching money is to tell the people that the money is infected because of some virus. Let me tell y'all something. Like I said, no disrespect on anybody who has lost anybody in it, you know. And I'm not going to get too deep on that subject because it's touchy. But all I'm going to say is I literally have been traveling since all this pandemic, this plan, 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 pandemic has been happening. I've been traveling, y'all. I've been around so many people, mask on, mask off, kids coughing, people coughing, people sneezing, (laughs) like, I've been around all of that stuff, and the truth of the matter is, I'm healthy whole, right, and it's just because I live in a different reality, I just, I don't believe certain stuff, I only allow my reality to believe what I want to believe, because it's my reality, and so, the thing of the matter is, if you know how hypochondria works, see, this is the thing, most people don't even know how their minds work, Every day I'm learning how my mind works. I don't even know how my mind fully works. So I'm not here to sit to tell you that I'm some guru of how the mind works. But one thing that I can tell you is that I've been working on my mind for eight years. And I've been studying the mind. And I've been studying how how the masses work. You got to understand, most people are followers than they are leaders. So all it takes is for the news to tell y'all something and then y'all start believing it. You get what I'm saying? Most people believe what's on the news first before anything, like the news is your God or something. And I'm just, I'm probably stepping on some toes today, but if I'm stepping on your toes, it's because I'm speaking to your demons. See, that's one of my superpowers. When you meet me for the first time, you either love me or you hate me. And the only reason why you hate me is because you're demons, right? So I'm just here to keep it just straight with y'all, y'all. Like, for real, like, shit is happening in the background. And if you don't get with the times, if you don't get around the right people who got the right information, then you're going to stay lost in the dark. You can't like you can't still hang around with the same friends talking about the same shit in the same position that they've been at for years. You really got to surround yourself around people that's going to be able to give you this knowledge. 
That's why I surround myself around my investment um, community, Generation 12. Because within Generation 12, our mission is to create generational uh, uh, wealth in our bloodline versus generational poverty. See, the only reason why generational poverty is operating in your ancestral line is because everybody keeps doing the same thing over and over, like a hamster wheel. Going to, going to school getting a good job, thinking that you about to be safe with some type of security check, thinking you about to be safe with some type of 401k, thinking you about to be safe for a job. Well, we got a surprise. You're not safe with a job. That job will let you go just like that. 77 people left, had to be laid off for Disney World. And we're talking about Disney World. So y'all need to snap back and get with the times, y'all. Like, I'm y'all. if some of y'all been following me for a while, y'all know I've been talking about this information for about seven years. Even before it happened, I've been telling y'all about getting this crypto. I've been telling y'all that we was about to go into a recession. But it's not too late. And it's all good because it's not too late. Get with it now, y'all. Get the crypto now. I really, I really urge you. At this point, I'm really urging you. I'm really urging you because when they hit that reset button, why you think they taking all day for the stimulus checks? They taking all day for the stimulus checks because they about to send y'all the stimulus checks in crypto. They about to send you because remember the first round of stimulus checks when the first round of stimulus checks came out it took all day for the people to get the stimulus checks because money is slow. It's old. We're rising our vibration. We're going into 5, 6 D consciousness. And so when we start to move higher in consciousness technology starts to rise higher. Right? So what that means is as they when they flip this switch and money changes, you gotta think about it. Money used to be shells. Money used to be rice. Money used to be cattle. So what makes y'all think that money is always gonna be a green piece of paper? How dare you think something like that, right? Money is not gonna always be a green paper, you guys. It's moving digital. Is moving digital. If you can go ahead and get ahead of the wave. Look, y'all, anytime I get money, see, see, here's the thing. We don't know how to manage money. And that's one of the things that I do in my coaching program. Like if you need help coaching, managing your money, and you want to learn to like start learning how to invest, get with me. Cause that's the thing I do. I teach people the three M's. How to manage, right, their money, right? And multiply the money. Two M's. I'm about how to manage and multiply. Right. Manage and multiply your money. So definitely if you need that coaching on how to manage your money, because here's the thing. When we get money, we don't have a strategic plan. We spend it on going out to eat. We spend it on all kinds of stuff instead of putting it into investments. Y'all, we got to really start to get in investments. I would rather drive a hoopty and live in a, a lower end apartment to take my money and put it into assets. I don't know, some of y'all been following me, some of y'all new to my story, but if y'all know, I used to live in my car. Like, before I started traveling the world, I literally was living in my freaking car, right? So when I started building myself up and I started getting money and, and getting out that situation, I started to put my money in assets and traveling the world and teaching people this principle. That's why I go so hard. That's why y'all been seeing me go so hard for years is because this information needs to get out. See, when people get this information, they want to hide it. They don't want people to know because they don't want people to come up. I don't care who comes up. I want everybody to come up. That's why I've been pushing this information for so hard for so long. I'm telling you guys, stop watching and get with the program. Stop watching and get with the program. You got to stop being scary and get with the program, y'all. Everybody not out there to hurt you. Everybody not out there to scam you. Everybody not out there to be sketchy. There's literally genuine people out there that want to see people win. And one of those people is me. And you can feel it. You can feel the energy. Energy don't lie, right? If you really tapped in, you can feel the energy. If you did the self-work, you can feel the energy, right? So I'm, I ain't want to make this long. Spirit just came on here to tell me, y'all, like, you got to get with it, yo. Because you can get crypto everywhere. Cash app, you can get it. PayPal, I mean, you can get crypto everywhere. But if y'all want that deep crypto conversation, like that deep rabbit hole, like behind the scenes like conversation about crypto because it gets deep i just can't get that deep on here right now with y'all right because it it gets deep but if y'all want to really just be able to tune in and just listen to some um crypto talk like <clears throat> man we do we do like crypto talks like every wednesday right 
So let's get it, man. I, I love y'all. Like I, I, I respect every guys that's been supporting the dream, supporting the journey. But I'm gonna just be real with y'all. I'm gonna be a coach right now. Now is the time to get in the game. Now is not the time to be watching people's stories and watching them do forex trading and watching them do crypto and watching them do stocks and watching them travel around the world. Now is the time for you to reach out to these people that you've been seeing winning and saying, how can I partner with you? Like, y'all know I've been doing this for a minute. Like, I'm on my ninth state. I'm in I'm in L.A. I was just in San Diego last night. I just got back from San Diego 4 o'clock in the morning with some people who got some money when it comes to crypto. All right? They crypto rich. We all going to be crypto rich, baby, because that money just sitting stacking. See, this is the thing. I'm going to leave y'all with this. When you have cryptocurrency, you can become your own bank. Why can't you become your own bank? Because you put your cryptocurrency on a ledger. See, most people was like, oh, the money can be wiped out at all time. The money in your bank can be wiped out at any time. It's digital. <laughs> the money in your bank can be wiped out at any time. So don't get too spooky up on it. You want to have your cryptocurrency and you want to put your cryptocurrency on your ledger. Your ledger is your bank. You get to carry your bank around. Right now, you got your money sitting in the bank. It's in somebody else's hands. How can you trust that? How can you trust your money sitting in the bank and it's not even even sitting in your hands? Don't you know that the whole system in the bank can fall and your money can be trapped in there? Shoot, Wells Fargo, about a year or two ago, they had some stuff going on with their system where people couldn't even access their money. I mean, you got to think about it. Like, you can only pull out a certain amount of money a day at the bank. How they going to cap your money? Come on, y'all got to think, man. Come on, just like think for a second with me. Like shake it, like, man, shake up out the matrix for a second with me, right? Your money, including mine, I got money in the bank as well too, right? But what I'm doing is I'm moving my money into cryptocurrency and moving it onto my ledger so that I can carry my own digital bank around with me. Y'all, you got to get that digital bank. Y'all think these flyers and stuff I've been making, talking about some turn your phone into an ATM digital bank, you think this is just marketing? You think this is a game? No, we trade. This is a real life thing. We trade and making money. We trade in crypto and we hold in crypto long term. Do you know how much money you can make daily from trading crypto? That's what I'm saying, man. Y'all got to stop watching. Some of y'all right now watching this live, I didn't slid in y'all inbox and we didn't talk about Forex. We didn't talk about cryptocurrency, but some of y'all still waiting on the sidelines. I don't know why y'all waiting for it. Some of y'all still work waiting, but y'all still miserable at your job. That don't make no sense. You can't let fear rule your life. So I'm saying to you, if me and you personally have had a conversation about Forex, about cryptocurrency, about my coaching program, now is the time that you stop playing games with yourself, stop making excuses, and get with the program because your bloodline de de depends on it. Your kids depend on it. Your kids' kids depend on it. Your kids' kids' kids then depend on it. What are you going to do for your children because you cannot leave a job to a child? I don't care if you're making $20 an hour. $20 an hour is not going to be able to help your kids and your kids' kids. 100 k a week, I mean a, a year, is not going to help your kids' kids. We got people making 100 k a month. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? What people would mostly make yearly, <laughs> we're making monthly. You get what I'm saying? Why go for 50K a year when you could go for 50K a month? 12,000 a week. You get what I'm saying? The money starts to hit different. So, I'm telling you, if you have had Forex in your hand and you didn't do nothing with you, like, what are you doing? You literally have a money-making machine in your hand. You got to apply yourself. That's the thing. That's why 95% of people are working for money and 5% are not. Because truth of the matter is most people don't want to do the work. It take work to make some money. I'm not going to sit here and lie to y'all and talk about, like, the money just going to fall from the sky. It take work. 
It takes self work. It takes you working on your mind. It takes you getting out your comfort zone. It takes you humbling your ego. It takes you being coachable and listening to people who already have the results. It takes some work. But is it worth it? Yes. Why is it worth it? Because most of you guys have worked your job for so many years and you're in the same spot. And it's not to put you under the bus and it's not to like belittle you or play you. It's to be real. It's just to keep it real. That's it. See, I'm one of those friends that you need in your life that's going to keep it real with you. That's not going to sugarcoat it because I'm not a sugarcoater. I will call you out and I hope that you call me out because that's what friends and family should do. You should communicate with each other and be like, hey, sis, like, look, you could be doing better. I know you could be doing better. I know you're not applying yourself. That's what we got to start doing as a community versus just, like, sugarcoating it. But, look, y'all, it's a vibe. I'm out in L.A. If you out in L.A. or anywhere, go ahead and drop your city and state. It's a vibe. COVID or not, we're on tour. Let's get it. Changing people's lives because God got a higher purpose. And when you have a higher purpose, you're always going to be covered. and You're always going to be shielded, right? So drop your state below. Let's do it. Let's pull up. Let's talk about crypto. Let's let's trade. Let's make some money forex. Let's make some money with stocks. Let's do it. Let's just make this money. It's not all about just making the money, but it's about making the money and impacting others. Do you know how many people on the street struggling right now? But if they knew how to trade forex, they wouldn't even be struggling. If they knew how to get cryptocurrency, they wouldn't even be struggling. So let's make the world a better place. Let's spread this word. Let's spread this message. If you guys want to get in some of t- in some of my private groups where I talk about, you know, behind the scenes stuff about, you know, trading Forex, you know, stocks and cryptocurrency, definitely get with me. G12 is the movement. Peace, y'all.